question number 9. Diagram 7 shows a curve y equals to gx, intersects the x-axis at point A, origin and point B. Okay. Given the gradient function, so gradient function means dy dx of the curve is negative 3x square minus 2x plus 2. Find the equation of the curve. So question A. Okay, before we go question A, they give you what? They give you dy dx. dy dx equals to negative 3x square minus 2x plus 2. You are looking for, question A, you are looking for y. y means you have to integrate. Integrate the dy dx function. So, negative 3x square minus 2x plus 2 dx. So, when you integrate, you will get negative 3x cubed over 3 minus 2x square over 2 plus 2x plus c. Okay, um, we want to find c. So we have to find where this curve intersects. We can find any coordinate. So we are going to use the origin. Okay, since the curve passes through the origin, we can substitute the origin. So 0, 0. So when you substitute 0, 0 into x and y, you will get your c value is equals to 0 as well. Okay, so that means the equation of the curve is negative x cubed minus x squared plus 2x. This is the equation of the curve. Next, we want to find question B. Find the area of the shaded region. So shaded region, okay, so shaded region, there are two different regions here. The first part here is on the positive side. The second part here is on the negative side. So we're going to do them separately. But before we can even start, we need to know the x-intercept first. So that we can, we know the range of the integration, right? So we want to find x-intercept. So to find x-intercept, y is equals to 0. So that means negative x cubed minus x squared plus 2x equals to 0. So we are going to take the whole equation, divide by negative, so that we get positive here. Minus 2x equals to 0, okay? So this will be easier. So now what we're going to do is we're going to factorize the x out because all of them got x, right? So we factorize x out, I will have x squared plus x minus 2 equals to 0. Then we can factorize further x x plus 2, x minus 1 equals 0. So from here, we know the intercept will be x equals to 0, x equals to negative 2, and also x equals to 1. So that means coordinate here, this coordinate here is going to be negative 2, and this coordinate here will be 1, here will be 0. Okay, so now we can do our uh, finding area, okay? So, let us do this together. So, question B. You want to find area. So, area you have to integrate. Okay, so the first range we are going to use is the range from negative 2 to 0. Okay, so negative 2 to 0. And we're going to use the same curve equation. Negative x cubed minus x squared plus 2x dx. Plus, we're going to, here don't forget to put modulus, huh? because why you will get a negative answer. So make sure you modulus it to make sure you get positive answer. So here the second range is going to be from 0 to 1. Okay, the x is going to be from 0 to 1. And then same thing, negative x cubed minus x squared plus 2x dx. Okay, so I'm just integrating. Okay, so this is the first part. Plus, you're going to get the same thing here. Negative x power 4 over 4 minus x power 3 over 3 plus 2x squared over 2. Okay, wait, this one is going to be from, yeah, 0 to 1. Here you can cut, here you can cut. So you know what, you're going to can just straight away substitute the value 
okay when you substitute your value you will get your answer here is 0 minus 8 over 3 when you substitute 0 everything will be 0 so I write here 0 and then when I substitute negative 2 I will get 8 over 3 okay so like I said don't forget to modulus it and then plus the second one here you will get 5 over 12 minus when you substitute 0 everything will become 0 so your final answer you will get is 37 over 12 okay or you can write in decimal lah, up to you so this is your uh, answer